What up guys, good morning. Today we're going to continue down like the flagship pomade line, kind of looking at the latest expansion, or rather just particularly one product from the latest expansion, Steel Horse. And today we'll be looking at the Steel Horse Firm Hold Pomade. And so the idea behind this thing, or behind Steel Horse, is to allow flagship to kind of go beyond their normal range of ingredients because their normal line I believe is an all natural vegan line and so with this new line they're able to use new ingredients like lanolin, beeswax, fragrance oils and still keeping to the same quality of kind of being able to use a wider range of ingredients about not being limited to the confines of their original line. So we'll begin this review by looking at the product. So this is Steel Horse and I actually think Flashship made this change along their entire line which is to switch to matte vinyl labels. So we have a really compact, really um, kind of, I don't want to say clutter, but a lot of things going on in this label and kind of sticking to kind of an old style, I would say, poster from like back then. So you have Steel Horse in a very bold uh, font, Supply Co, Hair Pomade, Firm Hold, Oil Base, hand poured in Arkansas. And then we have ingredients on one side. You notice that this is actually in interesting because they use a shea butter as the largest uh, ingredient, then wax, and then hydrogenated castor oil. And this is interesting because I was actually kind of curious about what would happen if you did like a shea butter and wax primary combination for a pomade. And I guess they did it, so we're gonna see what that's like. Then you have directions on the other side. And this is an amber four ounce glass jar, similar to what many people are transitioning over to. And then you have the product inside, which is a smooth, yellowish, orange color. So let's use it. The smell of this pomade is actually pretty interesting. And actually the reason why I chose to review it next. And I think it honestly smells like orange creamsicle. And to me, it smells exactly like that because you get like a vanilla and then an orange and everything else I kind of can't even pay attention anymore because it just smells so much like that ice cream. And this is nice for me because I've been using a bunch of these like herbal smelling pomades, all these like kind of unique cologne type of products. But now it's nice to every once in a while go back to like a sweet smelling product. But yeah, so this pomade as a firm is actually pretty difficult to scoop out of the jar. And so it's not the most difficult one, but it definitely is up there. Like you will shove your finger into it and you'll hit a wall of wax. And you'll just have to kind of work your way through it until you kind of break through that top layer. And still so like the main part of the product underneath the top layer is still pretty stiff. So I'm just making sure I break down all like the beads of wax, not beads of wax, but the clumps of wax that belong to that top layer. Because, I mean, it's something we often face with many uh, of the stronger oil-based pomades. And so, yes, we expect it, but we have seen it overcome before. But the nice thing is, um, this product is described as like a firm hold pomade. And... By our definition on this blog and what we would try to kind of continue to define is firm hold says nothing about the weight but just the hold and that the hold is most obviously firm. Whereas with a heavy it's a more like sturdy, it's a more like kind of resilient hold rather than a strong hold or a firm hold though it's often like they go hand in hand but not always and so what I'm kind of feeling right now is like a medium lightweight type of feel um, however the product does in my hands at least feel pretty greasy so I'm going to try to limit the amount of product I use because I mean at this point I rarely use oil base anymore except for some of the new and really innovative ones that don't feel like an oil base anymore but style like one and so just to keep things clean for my personal life try to reduce the amount of product I actually have to use 
And applying it's pretty easy, no issues at all. Kind of with the shea butter as the primary ingredient, or at least assuming that the ingredients list was kind of ordered in the correct way, that I mean, we would expect it to be pretty easy to apply. Last time we really sh um, saw shea butter in a primary role was with the Lockhart's uh, hair groom, which is a uh, zero hold, like uh, just hair conditioning butter. But now we see it in the complete opposite scenario where it's the main ingredient of a firm hold, a strong hold product. But yeah. Anyway, so that should be enough product. We'll go ahead and start slicking things back. So it's really easy to work with right now. Just a smooth product to comb through. Kind of what we've seen often with oil-based pomades. So go ahead and start styling now. And that is done. So, yeah, not bad. So we have a nice clean part. We can see the product and how it kind of is has enough weight to kind of hold down my hair. And actually, it felt like a medium light while applying, but now I kind of see it more as like a medium heavy weight. Like it definitely carries some of that weight just because of that greasiness. So you have a nice clean part. You have a good shine, about two notches above, like neutral, so a good solid shine. Then you have some good shape on the pump. And this product, definitely I've seen this before with the shave butter with the, um, uh, the Lockhart's hair grooming thing because this thing has some like bounce to it and which allows you to get some really nice shape out of the pump. It needs some like control and like kind of wax helps you with that and you need to kind of get used to it but the bounce does allow for like it, or rather it doesn't really allow it forces you to kind of take a more like spherical more Aesthetic pump in a way, depending on what you're going for. But yeah, and then so it's a pretty slick product, definitely up there, slicker than many things we've seen in the recent past. And for the hold, I would describe it as a medium firm, definitely pushing towards like a solid firm. And so the control with the bouncing between the bounce and like the hold, definitely like. It forces you to style like a spherical part. It forces you to style like a good looking pump. But at the same time, it is something you have to get used to. The wax helps a little bit against the balance, but the wax isn't that present. Once it gets out of the jar, you don't really feel it as much, though that might change throughout the day. And But we'll have to go ahead and test that out and see for ourselves. But yeah, so we'll go ahead, take a few hours away, and then come back and talk about that. So we've made it to about like early evening and I actually got to go to the gym with young Harry so I'm going to go ahead and film this section and then call it done and then just go off and go to the gym before we come back and do the whole like New Year's evening. But yeah so this is like my pop after a few hours of just kind of letting it sit there. Definitely we see some sagging which is typical of many oil based pomades cause, just because like that weight is there. But restyling is like somewhat easier than actually styling in the morning. I mean we see a bit of like drying of the product so we get the the bounce is moderated a little bit not as significantly as I thought it would be but to some extent yes and enough for us to notice a little bit. But restyling, obviously the product's still soft. I mean, it's always pomade. We know that. We expect that. The shine is still there, surprisingly, because actually some oil-based pomades, the shine actually does die out similar to some of the new water-based products we've seen. 
Um, the slickness is still there, so what I'm saying is kind of endurance. I mean, it sags and it'll fall apart. The thing about oil bases is stay soft, which also makes it easy to fall apart. Resalability, really easy. Now, washing this product out, I think it's because of like new ingredients that were added, but it takes about two solid showers for me because typically I have an easier job getting products out. Maybe it's the shampoo I use, whatever it is. I typically have an easier job. A more realistically, I say about three showers would probably kind of be a reasonable point to where you're like, yeah, I should have the product out. It's a little more resilient. The buildup is more, I would say, like pasty and kind of just like kind of causing hairs to stick together rather than like a waxy, strong buildup. So different in that regard. But yeah, so I mean, overall, I like this pomade. I like Steel Horse. However, it's not exceptional beyond other oil bases we've seen. It's a good alternative to some of the other things we've seen. And for a medium firm whole pomade, it's definitely like one of the better ones. Or even if there are any other like pomades referred to as a medium firm, any other firm whole pomades we've seen have definitely ended up not being firm in any way. But at least this one is ends up with kind of like a medium heavier weight due to that greasiness and yeah true to the word a medium firm hold it's good but it's not exceptional at the same time i never use all bases anymore just because it's just inconvenient for me but i do get reminded at these times of why we use oil bases and kind of just the ease of their own use at times but yeah so that's my opinion on the flagship Steel Horse Medium Firm Hold Pomade. Um, if you guys do want it, if you guys are interested, then you can use the promo code all caps most based available to you guys to use, save a little money if you order it. But I would definitely recommend checking out their black ship and the straight of Malacca or Malacca, however you pronounce it. Those are definitely the two that are really exceptional pomades that I would highly recommend checking out from the flagship line. But we got one more review for them at least. We will be looking at the original lineup of the flagship, the all natural vegan lineup. We'll be looking at the medium whole pomade. So take care guys. Have a good New Year's and peace.